Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case... And what brings... The fact that... I don't... That's what... I have... You... I'd remember... Why would... That's... Po seems hard... Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family, before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes. And as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that Dr. Fuller and a nurse. Blood. Everywhere. My legs. The pain. I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. 
I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. Our paths crossed, briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, 
Since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives.
Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? A house of artists. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? to see it. Did she really care for him after all? my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. A strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting to finally give it away for nothing. An old diary. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Nice story, bad lie. Learn how to dupe, detective. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say?
These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. The public entrance to the gallery. Why was he so interested in old weapons? The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. What the hell was that? Down. This dagger looks different. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. I 
pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. You knew... You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I've still got things to settle with Irene. Where is the bookseller? An old diary. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt, then? What killed all these animals? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case.
Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Drake talked about a particular volume. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message.
What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular... So these are the volumes that... What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular... So these are the volumes that... What did Drake say about this col... Drake talked about a particular vol... So these are the volumes that Drake was... What did Drake say about this collection?